What's up YouTube? I'm Hella Haggard. Welcome to my channel. Thanks for checking out this video. I'm going to show you how I do a self-portrait in Procreate. I love Procreate. I broke both my arms, so I had gotten a, a rare opportunity to draw, just draw a ton for a month or so now. Alrighty. First thing you want to do is, you know, open a photo from the wrench icon. I usually do it this way because if you do it from the gallery, it opens it up too uh, small. You want to make sure it's, you can uh, blow it up and stuff uh, because uh, when you draw it, it'll just be all pixelated and everything. And you got to make sure you use a really high def picture. I chose a photo I took on my iPhone right here. It's pretty got a lot, a lot of definition it's really easy looks like this one's in the portrait mode on uh I, on my iphone Alrighty, this is a lot of fun i love doing it um i'm not gonna color it i'm just gonna show you i will show you how you need to do it if you want to color it but um i don't like to screw around with trying to color my skin tone and shit sometimes on other people i do it it's pretty easy you can do this fun little trick. See, you can just put your finger down and it'll select any color. For a lot of these, I like to use the, where is it? The technical pen. It's one of my favorites. Make sure you got it the side you want. First tip, make sure you start a new layer. If you draw on this one, you're gonna have to start over because you need them separate so that you can toggle this one off once you're done drawing it. I'm an idiot. So let's go ahead and erase these lines. All right, make a new layer. Gonna turn down the opacity so we can see our lines a little better. All right, let's try this again. Procreate is amazing. So you want to make sure you make all your lines really smooth and solid and make them connect. You have to make sure that everything connects so that you can color it in. Get an ear there. do a shape you just hold it and it'll fix the shape and then you can edit it if you need to you know, pretty cool happy ears there we go start on that neck there back to the neck later I got some fun stuff planned for that get these big old lips
Alrighty, so we're pretty much done there. Got the outline of it there. Now for my finishing touch. Cut my head off. And actually rip my head off looks like. Bone sticking out there. Probably not how it looks in there, but I know that there's these bones. But... That looks pretty cool. Yeah, that's how you want it to look all perfect if you're just trying to fill it in and then you can go and add shit later, you know? I mean, that's one way you can do it. But when I'm not coloring it in, I like to go over and make it, you know, a lot more choppy. It just makes it look cool. So yeah, I'll go in and make it hair like looking because the hair is all fuzzy. like my hair check it perfect
You don't have to close that. You don't have to close it. Alright. So, I think I like where I'm at. Put these little... That's too many. <laughs> Perfect. It's good enough for me. Thanks, YouTube. Stay classy. Peace.